everyone, it's Emma. Sorry for wearing yet another hat, but my hair is getting really long. I really need a haircut, and when my hair is long, I tend to just wear hats every day. Even though it still looks good, I just, I don't know why. Anyways, what I'm doing today is an owl crate unboxing. Look how pretty it is. Ugh, I love the covers of these boxes. It like matches my aesthetic perfectly. Owl crate is a monthly subscription box, a bookish box that you can get every month. They sent me this box to review on my channel and I'm very excited about it because from what I've seen, owl crate is my favorite of the book boxes that you can get. Every month they send you a YA hardback book and they send miscellaneous little like bookish merchandise things and I always love what I see from their boxes. This month's theme is classic remix. What it said on the thing was if you love books like The Little Prince, The Secret Garden, Phantom of the Opera, stories like that, it's like modern remix of that and that is absolutely perfect for me. I'm really excited. I've been avoiding spoilers. It just arrived in the mail last night and I was like I'm dropping everything, all of my video plans to just film this video instead. <laughs> Let's get right into it, shall we? Can you see? <gasps> oh no! Oh my gosh! It looks like La La Land. They do these beautiful cards at the front and then on the back it tells you everything that's inside, but I'm not going to read the back yet. The back is really cool too. Oh, I love this one. I'm gonna like hang this on my wall. Let me move all the little squigglies. First thing that I see is this little tea bag for the little prince, which I absolutely love, Le Petit Prince. And this one says it's mint and rose herbal tea. I'm going to open this and smell it, tell you guys how it smells. I love tea. I drink tea all the time, like maybe more than coffee. I'm not sure. I'd probably drink them both the same amount. Mmm. Oh, it smells so nice. I don't know how, but it smells like the Little Prince. It also smells like there's some chamomile in there. Peppermint, spearmint, asmenis petals, ginger pieces, rose petals, and chamomile. And the little packaging is adorable. <laughs> Next is this little soap. Oh, the Secret Garden. It says, the Secret Garden sent white tea and berries. And it is by, from the library of tea soap books and owl crate. I can't really smell it, to be honest. Maybe if I take it out of the bag. Mmm, it smells good. I am very smell sensitive, so I don't know if I will actually be able to use it, but maybe I'll just like stick it in my sock drawer and make everything else smell good. This box is just perfect for me, like the Little Prince tea and the Secret Garden soap. I don't know I don't know what else could be more perfect than that. Next is a little magnet. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Le Fantôme de l'Opera. Ugh, high school French at its worst. Oh, it's so pretty. Where am I going to put this? There's a little pin. They always put pins in, and I absolutely love pins. This one just says the Owl Crate Theater. The next thing I'm seeing is a calendar, 2017 calendar. Oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Okay. It's this little calendar for 2017, which I don't even have a calendar for 2017. Each one has a book quote. This one's Peter Pan. Oh, I have such an obsession with Peter Pan, like since I was a little girl. Alice in Wonderland. Oh my gosh, these are beautiful. The Jungle Book one is really beautiful too. Hi, Ginger. Do you want to be let out? My dog just stepped in the pile of like the squiggly things that come in the box and like spread it so that's gonna be a lot of fun to clean up afterwards oh my gosh this is gorgeous it says everything was beautiful and nothing hurt i don't know what this is from let me see what this is from the talented lexi olivia oh it's from the slaughterhouse five slaughterhouse five is by kurt vonnegut who's the same person who wrote breakfast for champions he's a lot of famous books i really love watercolor and like these colors are just then there is this little poster for Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. I know that this has something to do with the Lunar Chronicles, but since I haven't read the Lunar Chronicles, I'm not sure exactly what it is. But the art style is really cool. It looks like a comic book. I think I've got everything except the book. The book that's inside is Roseblood by A.G. Howard, 
which I've heard of this before. It's a Phantom of the Opera retelling. I love the Phantom of the Opera. It's one of my favorite shows that I've ever seen on Broadway. It's just incredible. I'll read the little description that they give because it sounds great. It says, We invite you to an atmospheric and dark romance set in the tunnels of Paris. Roseblood by A.G. Howard is a modern day retelling of the Phantom of the Opera that will give you goosebumps as you turn every page. When 17-year-old Rune is sent to a French art school, rumored to be the same opera house the original Phantom once haunted, mysterious things begin to happen in her life. Plagued with musical afflictions, Rune befriends an elusive violinist named Thorn while trying to keep at bay the creeping suspicion that someone is following her every move. Oh my gosh, I bet this is going to be really creepy and atmospheric, and the fact that it takes place at an art school in Paris, and it's Phantom of the Opera retelling, it like couldn't be more perfect for me. I'm so excited to read this. Also, with the book that came, they sent a book plate, which I will definitely be sticking inside the book. And then they always send a little note from the author, specifically for Owl Crate, which is really cool. This one looks like it's talking about rereading the Phantom of the Opera and how the author approached all of that. That's everything. The only thing that's left is the little sneak peek card that they give you of next month's box, which I'm also getting next month's box. So the theme for February's box is Runaway with the Circus. Here's the little card that they give you. Their cards are always beautiful. I'm not throwing any of these away. On the back it says that there's going to be a candle. February box will include a delicious item from Frostbeard Studio. And I'm pretty sure that's candle thing. That's everything that was in this box. I'm really happy with this box. I think it was great. I think it was better than the one that I got for December. I mean, obviously the theme is just perfect for me. I'm really excited to read the book. I have never read a Phantom of the Opera retelling and I've never actually read the original Phantom of the Opera. I just know the story from like seeing the play and <laughs> listening to the music over and over again. Thank you a lot to Owlcrate for sending me this box to review. I will link all of the information on Owlcrate in the description below so that you can check them out if you want to see if you want to get your own monthly subscription box. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button. I miss Emma Reads a lot on all of my social media, which I will link in the description box along with the information on Owlcrate. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys on Monday with a new video.